All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mehta. So I've done extensive research. What are the best indicators for trading crypto on TradingView? In my opinion, there are quite a few. Everybody really likes Market Cipher. Personally, I didn't love that indicator. I think there are a couple better ones. All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mehta. Let's dive right into it. What are the best indicators for trading crypto on TradingView? I've done a lot of research. I've used probably a good couple hundred of these over the last couple months trying to find that perfect indicator or at least that indicator that would work really well for a beginner that would really help you kind of protect your investments and really prevent you from doing what I call dumb money moves where you buy in at peak formation, you listen to the FOMO, you panic sell at bottom, all of those things come into play. I found the perfect package for a beginner in my opinion. So I wanna show you guys these. I'm gonna let you guys make your own opinion. And then on Monday, I have Paul, the guy who who actually created these indicators coming on the channel for a one-on-one -on -one interview and then a training session so he's going to teach you guys everything there is to know about how to use these indicators i'm just making this video because everybody asks me every day when i'm actually using these in our live streams every night what indicators am i using and this way i don't have to keep stopping and explaining these because this is a big package there's eight indicators all together so let's, let me just shut up and let's dive into it All right, YouTube, just to give you guys an idea, we're not entering any trade unless we have six to seven signs of confirmation. We can contemplate it on five, but I wanna start out as the rule. If you buy all of this package, I want you to try to only take trades when you have six to seven signs of confirmation. So I just charted this out and we're gonna actually go and break these down, but I just wanna make, you sh make sure you guys understand it's not just one indicator. It's a package of indicators. I was going to add it, this part in this video, but it's super long. So I'm going to make another video where you see me map out this trade of Bitcoin and how you would have potentially taken trades up to 62% profit on this last previous push up to where Bitcoin hit like 48 before it retraced. So just to give you guys an idea, stick with me. I'm going to show you guys how to, every single indicator works. All right. So there's a total, I think of like seven or eight indicators. So we're going to go through these each one by one. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to turn all these off. I just wanted to see for you guys to actually see what my chart looks like with every single indicator on, and we're going to turn them on one by one and we're going to go through them. So these four come in a package together. So the first one down here is this W5T bar number. This just lets you know when I slide my cursor across the screen at exactly what number this candlestick is right here. And it individually numbers each candlestick. That way you can reference that candlestick in, your, in this indicator right here that we turn on. The next one is your Elliott Wave Oscillator. And this kind of reminds me of the MACD. We're just waiting for the green to cross over into the red. When the red crosses into the green, that indicates it's a strong point to buy. When it crosses back over and green goes to red, that that's an indicator to sell. So what's nice right here, this is what's called the false breakout stochastic. What's really nice right now is everybody thinks that Bitcoin price is coming down. In my personal opinion, Bitcoin was on a trend. You can see this downward trend and I tell everybody never bet against a trend because you never know until that trend's actually broken which way price is headed. But what you saw here was you saw Bitcoin come up over 10% and it went from 50,000 all the way up to 55,000. That's a $5,000 run up meaning it was common for for Bitcoin to actually bounce off the trend line, retrace down here. It should be retracing to about 52 to 53,000 and then making its next push up to the upside. I think that this is the first leg of five and that could just be my uh, me getting you know hopeful. But what I do notice here is I'm still green down here on my Elliott Wave Oscillator. I have what's called a false breakout. So anytime it paints this yellow bar here and gives you a red arrow, the red arrows indicate a downtrend possibly a good opportunity to take out a short. But when they paint this yellow bar here, it lets you know, hey, this might not be a good time to actually take out a short because the momentum is going in the opposite direction. So the next thing I'm gonna turn on is what's called my Elliott Wave Counter. Those of you guys that are familiar with Kite Crypto or any of these other people that use the Elliott Wave Theory to make price predictions, they turn out to be very, very accurate. What I need to do is I need to tell this where to actually start at. So what I'm looking for is a trend reversal. When was the last downtrend broken and where was that previous low at? Right now, we're still on this downtrend, right? It has not been broken. So I come back up here. The last time a trend was broken would have been right here. So this is really simple. I put on this on this tip of this candlestick and I draw, draw a line down to the tip of the next candlestick right there. 
So we can see that this right here is where the trend was broken. This downtrend was broken when price started to go up here. So I'm looking for the previous low before that trend was broken, which would have been right here. So I'm going to come over here to this. I'm going to hold my uh, indicator above it. I'm going to look down in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Most likely it's behind me so you guys can't see it. So you can see when I'm hovering my mouse right here over this point, if I look down here in the bottom corner of the screen, you'll see a bar number. So when I hold it over that mouse, it says bar number 10467. So I'm going to come up in here. I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go 10467 seven and i'm gonna hit okay so what it just did right here is it's painting the fifth wave down so it's telling me to take out a short right here so i'm actually going to log into bybit right now and i'm going to take a short out you guys are going to watch me use this indicator to its fullest and take a short out on bitcoin right now even though i'm getting a false breakout it's telling me not to i think that this is going to be a great opportunity to short bitcoin at least for the short term so everybody else asks what vpn do i use do i use the vpn absolutely i use nord vpn I'm going to take out my short on Bitcoin at 54,200 something. And I'm going to aim for a target price of 5%, but quite possibly 10%. The only thing I don't like is I'm getting this false breakout. So let's check out our divergence. Before we do any shorting, let's check out our divergence. So our EMA cloud is another indicator. This one is not included in this package. And then our ex Brett algo gave us a six star long position right here. And we are getting really strong bullish divergence right there let's not take out a short here so this is a perfect example i was just getting ready i mean you guys watch me i was pretty confident in that i was legit getting ready to take out a short there if price goes down if price did not make that five percent i would have got stomped out so let's see i would have i would have just probably put five hundred dollars on 10x leverage right here so if price did not make it to five one three six two I probably would have been out about 500 bucks. So I paid $2,100 for these indicators, but it may have just saved me 500 right there. So you guys are literally watching me. I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to sell this. You guys see what time it is. It's Saturday, March 27th at 8.50 a.m. So if you pull up the one hour chart, this is exactly what you're gonna see. This is supposed to be a really short video. So that's the divergence. So if you're not, if you're like me, I still have to pull up indicators and charts and just confirm. I know what they look like, but I just wanna make sure that I'm actually calling them out right. Instead of having to jump over here on my charts and go, yeah, that looks like bearish divergence. That looks like bullish divergence. I can just come over here, turn on my divergence cloud. And when it paints green, bullish. When it paints red, bearish. Does that make sense? These indicators are off the hook, guys. And I'm not just saying that. And I don't suggest that you watch this video and go out and buy these indicators. I suggest you come into the live streams every night. You watch me use them. You see how good they're working for me or how bad they're working for me. Then we're bringing Paul on the channel Monday. So you're going to get firsthand from the guy who actually designed these indicators. You're going to have a one-on-one -on -one trading session with him. And I'm going to make sure... I feel like I do a very good job at it anyways, of making sure that my crew has everything they need from an absolute beginner aspect. If I'm bringing somebody on my channel, they're not gonna break this down for the advanced person. They're not gonna be talking over your head. I'm gonna make sure they dumb it down, AKA dumb money for our crew, so that anybody that's never even seen an indicator before, never even looked on TradingView, can have a really good understanding of how to use these indicators and actually protect their investments. So come to the show, check it out, make your own decision. In my personal opinion, I think that this indicator, the first day I bought it, had I had it the day before, it would have saved me $400 in trades I would not have made. Just now, it looks like it's probably gonna save me another 500. I don't know, either way, I, I could have entered that trade, but everything's telling me not to, so I don't know why I would, except for the only one, it's hard to say. We'll see, I definitely think I could have jumped in and played the retrace game down, I was calling for Bitcoin to be coming down to 52, give or take, about 52.5. So maybe I could have got, you know, one or 2% short out of it and, and jumped out of it before I lost money. But for the most part, I don't like playing that game. I like having big targets. I like, you know, entering a trade when I know my price point is like 10, 15% away. So now the last one we have, or the next one we have is a Paul Brat, the W5T. So this gives you indicators of a star level. So let me turn off all these other ones. So this indicator right here, this is all part of the second package now. So the first package, let me, let me redo this again. So the first package is done here. This is our Elliott Wave package. So we have our bar counter down here behind me. Obviously, you guys seen that. That's a little blue bar number over here. So right here, this is our bar counter number. And you can see it changing numbers as I'm dragging my indicator across the timeline. So it's saying, okay, hey, at this point in time, this exact bar number is, this candlestick number is 10695. And obviously if I move it over to every candle, it'll have its own bar number. You come over here into the settings of the red, blue, green, and yellow, and you go into settings, and then you enter the bar number you want. And you're all, it's really simple. You're just looking for a trend break. 
So you either enter the low before the trend break or the high after the trend break. For example, this is my trend line and price comes up and breaks this trend, reguns down and breaks up again to the upside. I would be looking to find that low right here. This would be my first low. This would be my number zero. This would be my one, two, three, four. That makes sense. If this breaks the trend, I'm always going to the spot before it for a low. Comes up there, that'd be a high there comes down in, breaks out to the upside. This is what I'm calling for on Bitcoin right now. My target prices were somewhere around like 63 to 60, 62 to 63,000 on this next push up. Obviously you're gonna have some retraces in there, not straight up, but that's where I think Bitcoin's gonna go from this point, but we'll see. Because it did just bounce off this trend line, so it easily could be headed down, all the way down to 48, 47,000. So we'll see where it ends up at. But that's the first four right there. So the next one is an EMA cloud. It's really simple as well. It comes with its own little cheat sheet, so you can come in here in the settings. If you want things to be more aggressive and you want to enter in or exit trades more aggressively, you can change this down to 13. If you want moderate, I think it's 23. It comes stock at 34. In my personal experience, 34 gives you the most accurate information. So when price crosses over the purple line and you're getting candlesticks finishing above the purple line, that's a really good indicator price is going up. And when you come under it, like right here, you can see right here is a really good indicator that price is going down. So just to show if you guys would have entered a trade right here, right when price crossed under, you could have rode that down almost 8% up here, another seven, eight percent Almost every time it crosses all the way under, you're almost getting four or 5% at least there's four. So this one might be a good, really good way to scalp some trades in short Bitcoin. Even if you're only going to make three or 4%, three or 4% is good money. And on the case that you actually make nine or 10, heck that's great. Longs we can see when this, this indicator works really good when you're in a bull market or a bear market, right? Cause look at right here, another, you could have rolled this up and just entered in and out of trades off this indicator alone. Another nine, doesn't seem like it's ever gonna get you 10 on Bitcoin, but five. And here you would have got stomped out, probably probably would have lost in that one, you wouldn't even made it to four. So if you just set four as your target price range, you do pretty good. So that's the W5T EMA Cloud. I think that's the cheapest one. In my opinion, that's my least favorite. Now we have the W5T XBrat Elgo. So this one uses 12 different lines of code down here to make up for a decision, whether it's gonna be a four, five, or six level long trade and short trade. So if we look over here, and this is why I was kind of saying that this is a false breakout. So I have a six star indicator coming up over here. And you can see one over here and it doesn't always matter. It doesn't always guarantee prices coming up. But if I'm looking over here, I see in this six star trade, this six star trade right on the start of this long uptrend. So hopefully that'll follow suit. We're just gonna have a little retrace here and then a big push to the upside that's what i'm actually hoping for and why am i hoping that because of the divergence so the next one i want to show you guys is the divergence which is this green painted line here i do see some at the peak here but most of the time when you're see seeing that really bear bullish divergence like i see a little bit here but it's really faded they're really hard to see when they're painting really strong like that that's a really good sign that there's good bullish divergence and i'm really liking the way that this should be looking i don't think bitcoin needs to come down again and if bitcoin does keep coming down i think we might be coming down a lot farther than people think i don't know if we're going to stop at 48 and last but not least is our harmonic so if you don't even know how to chart out or do retracing on your elliott wave extensions this tool does amazing pretty much any time i've ever seen a red d i was able to make it take out a short and make a 10 percent short on this i bet you any money look at that 11 percent any time this thing puts out a red d and what's really awesome about this one is it played out really well so again if you're a person like me and you got your charts out here and you're looking for diagonal wedges ascending triangles descending triangles bats butterflies this does fantastic right so watch how cool this is so you can see this formation right here that it's forming this bat formation they call it so it's tracing out these triangles and how this movement's actually playing out well it starts to make this last leg for example and it says okay i've made the where the bat logo is i've got a i've got b i've got c right here now this is what it needs to look like to fill and finish this formation and it draws this dotted purple line so just in case you guys can't see that Pretty much where I drew my yellow, it was drawing, it put out a purple dotted triangle right next to my yellow one. So when it made point B and came down here and hit point C, it instantly throws out this dotted triangle and it says, hey, this is what the formation should potentially look like. This is where we think price is going. 
and it fills that in. After it hits that D and makes that bat symbol on the way down, I tell you what, I've not seen one of these, and you can even go on in the four hour and they're even more accurate on the four hour. So this is only on the one hour. And you can see if I would have taken out a short when that D was painted, bam, D painted, finish, price starts to come down, we would have entered a short right about here. Anytime I'm shorting, my target price is always normally about 5% with 8X leverage, 10X leverage, give or take. We would have stomped that easily. We would have easily got that no matter what, rode that all the way down. I would never have jumped out of that because it's all red candles. So let's say we jumped out at the first green candle. We could have easily taken ourselves out at about six and a half percent. No questions asked. Let me just show you guys how good this thing works. Let me jump on the four hour. So it doesn't throw these trades out very lightly, right? So now on the same aspect, here's a butterfly. Here's a green D. So now we got a green D and it paints out the Elliott waves. So instead of having to come over here with your Elliott wave indicator, and go, yup, I hit a point there, point here. Let's see right there. See that? See how it does that? It traces out and puts all your levels there for you. So it was telling you right here. I personally, if I charted this out, when it made this green D, I would have charted this thing out at best and said, here, here's my target price point. It charts it out and it said all the way up to here in the green zone, 1618 right up to here, guys. So it was calling the price target point from all the way down here at this red D or at this green D which would have been 28,728. It was calling for possible targets. It would have had you staying in this trade all the way to 43,000. Let me just draw this out, show you guys how awesome this indicator is. That's 51%, guys. I'm telling you, it's just that these indicators are really good. I'm not just saying that either. I mean, you're watching it live, right? Here's the last time. And it's not like, look, and I go on the four hour chart, and this is why I say they're so much more accurate on the bigger time frame. How many times have you seen this thing call a trade out? One, two, and this entire bull run. It's not calling one over here. And the four hours. So the higher up you go in these time frames, the more accurate these indicators get. So that's a wrap, guys. <laughs> All right, YouTube. So that's a wrap on our indicators. Again, these are the global trading solutions. Their website's changed a few times. So I got my the actual affiliate link. And if you use my link, you'll get 21% off the main package. I'm not sure if they've put any other discounts for the Elliott Wave indicators. I think they're already discounted. But I know off the crypto bundle package, you get 21%. If you guys just, just by clicking the link, they'll automatically give you that 21%. And I'm not trying to sell you guys these indicators. I suggest that you don't buy them. I suggest that you come to my channel, come to the live streams every night, watch me use these live, make your own decision. Definitely come to the live stream Monday. We have Paul. He's the one who actually created these indicators coming out in the channel for an interview. And he's going to actually do a one-on-one -on -one training. So I'm not even 100% that I'm using them to the best of their ability. He might show us a few more tips that I actually don't know about. So I'm super excited to have him on the channel. And he's got a ton of good indicators on his site. So maybe I can get him to hook me up with a couple more. I paid for these out of my own pocket. These were not given to me. I put my, I actually pulled my receipts up in the live stream. So the name of the game, right? And where I'm going with this, we just had BitsGap bots come on the channel. They showed us how to program these bots from start to finish. They are amazing bots. They are so good at trading. It's unbelievable if you pick the pair right. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these indicators to give me those six or seven signs of confirmation before I enter a trade. And then I'm going to be entering the trade and giving the coin to my bot and letting my bot run on it. So if you chart these out in the four hour during this previous bull run, we have only got two points of entry when all seven indicators told us to enter a trade. And it looks like we're setting ourselves up if Bitcoin's going to go up and continue to make another run up, we're probably going to get seven of those indicators one more time in the next week or so. So it's going to be awesome. As soon as I get all those signs of confirmation, I'm going to give a couple thousand dollars to my bot, turn on that coin and let him rip on Bitcoin all the way up. So that being said, thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I'm going to be putting together a members only if you guys are interested in joining. I think it's going to be like $25 a month. I'll have these indicators live streaming about seven hours at least eight hours a day. I'll be charting out the top 20 cryptos. So you'll see my price predictions on all 20 cryptos on the first of every month. I'll have those updated. I'll also be updating slides every week. There's gonna be a ton of great content in our members only. So if you guys are interested in learning more, definitely join our members only group and I'll see you guys in the live stream tonight. Peace.